Hello guys and uh, welcome to the episode on uh, the big blind. Now there are a few ways we can uh, try and understand uh, players from the big blind. Uh, the simplest of course is when the small line opens and uh, you know, we have a decision about uh, which button to use, uh, the fold, the call or the raise. Uh, another interesting uh, take on this could be the situation where the button opens or the under the gun seat opens and now we're deciding what to do with our holding. But I've actually decided to go the third route, which is uh, the cutoff opens, uh, the button calls who will be fairly wide, and we are in uh, the big blind against uh, possibly uh, two pretty loose uh, ranges, and uh, we're deciding what to do. Uh, Multi-way spots are something uh, that uh, you know, require uh, requires a lot of time. And uh, it's something that's not really been uh, explored all that much. Uh, even uh, when you use uh, solvers, trying to run multi-way sims takes up a lot of time. And uh, I believe we have to begin somewhere, so why not begin pre-flop? So here we are in the big blind where, you know, like I said, the cutoff's opened, uh, the button's called, a small line is folded, it's on us and everyone is effectively a hundred big blind steep in this six max Omaha game. So without further ado, let me just pull up uh, the counter and we can begin right away. Uh, we are Mission Possible Poker, so I'll call us MPP and uh, we will name this uh, vision after the solver and uh, we will begin the exercise. Uh, this one is, I believe, a fold. I mean, the suits are quite bad. Uh, our set won't be all that great. Neither will our flush draw, so I'm going to fold. Uh, it is, in fact, a call. So Vision wins the first one and I see it's barely a call. So, so this at 51%. So we missed out by just a little. So it's no biggie. But if I turn this into a six, this will certainly be a call. A single suited, yes. It's, it's even a call when it is rainbow. And... Uh, all the elements we spoke about uh, earlier, you know, the structure of the hand, uh, the, the value of the pair, the connectivity, the suits, all of these play a big part in uh, our decision making. Uh, moving on, uh, jack turns really important. The 8-4 isn't really all that connected. So I'm going to assume this one's a fold and uh, we get our first point. This one's going to be folded as well. All hands in this range will be folded. Uh, I'll actually call this, but what if you have uh, a queen, although even the queen is connected to the eight, you know, that calls even more. So what if you have king, eight, eight, four, I believe that will be mostly a fold. And as you can see, that's almost always a fold, but king, eight, eight, five, double suited should probably be a call, and it is. So uh, moving on, uh, this one's a fold. Uh, this will be a fold as well. Although double suited, it might be a call. No, to be honest, uh, I thought this would be a call, but it turns out uh, even double suited, this hand is way too disconnected to be played. Uh, turn this into a six and uh, we will start playing the double suited varieties. Turn this into a nine and we'll probably start three betting. Um, yes, moving on, uh, this one though is close but I'll still fold, that's correct. Uh, the king and I, no, the king and the nine aren't really all that connected, so I'll, yeah, I guess I'll fold. But if we turn this into the ace, then I believe even single suited uh, to the ace will be played in some fashion. And uh, our assumption is proven correct. This one's a fold. It's a really bad hand. 
Uh, 10, 10, 6, 5, triple. I mean, if it was single suited, I would have called. But even this, I think I'll call. We are correct. So it's going to be a fold. Uh, I believe this is on the cusp, but I will fold. It is in fact a call. All right, even triple suits are calling. And obviously when you have a triple suit, it will be suited to the king. You can't have a 988 of the same suit. Moving on, this one is probably a call. It is called single suited even. Uh, this one's a fold in my opinion. Uh, this will probably be a call as well. Yeah. This will be a fold. And guys, I haven't uh, done this quiz before. I've known of this section in Vision. But I'm just using whatever we've learned uh, together over the past few episodes. and just trying to apply that... Uh, to not only my game but also when answering questions on uh, vision so I believe we've taken the point we can now move on this one will be a call uh, this one's close but I'll still call there's a fold what if you turn this into an 8 and all uh, at least most single suited ones are called Those suited to the king certainly are, and those suited to the queen are not. All right. I will call. I will fold. No suits will make this a fold. Uh, the pair is fairly high, so I'll call. Uh, this will be a fold. It's a very trashy hand. Uh, this one will be a call. Double suited. Uh, yeah, might be a raise, which it is. Mm. This one's a fold. Uh, this one's going to be a fold, but double suited. This might just make it to uh, the three betting range. I am going to fold this one. That's correct. And double suited, it is indeed uh, being played one way or the other. When your 8-6 are of one suit, it is a raise. And when the 6-7 is of one suit, so you have the quote-unquote bad suits, which is the two highest suits possible plus the two lowest suits possible, it's a call. And 8-7, uh, uh, same story. Moving on, uh, this one I will defend not raise you turn this into a seven and i will be three betting double suited hands yes this one is certainly a call double suited is, is uh, a raise what about king king uh, three 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 double suited is that a raise or oh, that's a raise even when it's a uh, single suited what about king king jack king king ace you know, the ace king king hands, which are usually very tricky to play. So let's go with one that's not all that connected. So I'll go and press, uh, go ahead and press the seven. And I believe uh, it is three bet to, or it is squeezed actually when uh, double suited and even with the ace high suit. So that's my prediction. Uh, double suited is correct. Ace high suit is correct. With the non high uh, ace high suit, it's also a squeeze. That is when uh, the king seven are suited and the ace king uh, aren't. And uh, with the rainbow variety, you will be calling and not raising. Uh, moving on, this one's fairly bad. I will fold. I will call the pair is very high. What if this is a really trashy pair? King king eight deuce single. I believe a single will still be a call, a double will probably still be a three bet, but rainbows, I mean, I think that hand will play uh, one way or the other. And it is, in fact, always a call. You do need some connectivity to to make this a three bet. What about eight six? And that turns out is now a three bet. 
we move on uh, this one is fairly close between a call and a fold But I will fold uh, because there's just too many gaps, two at the top, uh, one in the middle. It's just an awful hand. Fold. Ah, this one's going to be a call. It's never squeezing. Call as well. Fold. Close with the king high suit, I think I'll call. It is in fact a fold. Uh, this one's close between uh, re raising and calling, but I'll call. What if we have uh, a more connected hand? Is that a raise? Yes, in fact, it is a raise now when it's double suiting. So, again, guys, you, uh, you see the kinds of uh, hands we're squeezing with, you know, some of them are for value. Uh, for example, all aces will be for value. Uh, all ace king kings will be for value. Some of them are for deception. You know, a, a hand like this blocks uh, a pair of aces. So it's really difficult for you to get uh, re-raised when you have one ace. So there's that. And then uh, you can hit so many boards in so many different ways that, you know, your opponents will not know what uh, hit them. You will also be able to take down a number of uh, flops uncontested. Uh, and by uncontested, I mean if the, if the board is uh, deuce deuce uh, five, for example, you flop a gutter and uh, a perceived uh, pair of aces. You can bet really small and take that one down. People won't really put up uh, much of a fight, if, especially if it's rainbow and they don't have much, which they won't on that board. Moving on, uh, this one's going to be a call for me. But it is a fold. Double suited, this is a, a re raise. Very interesting. Double suited, it's a re raise. Single suited, it's a call. And the others are folds. Uh, this one's fairly bad. Uh, this one can be a call. I will not be re raising this. Double suited. Yeah. So we get to uh, the hand where uh, it's really disconnected. And all we're pay, uh, playing for is uh, a queen on the flop. But that being said, because the pair of queens is so high, I will call. What if we turn this into a pair of jacks? I believe that will still be a call. In fact, that's where the cutoff is. Uh, and uh, it's a call only when it is double suited. Uh, moving on, this is fairly connected. I will call. It is in fact a fold. It is a call when it is not trip suited. Uh, this one's a little difficult between a, a raise and a call, but with these suits, I will just call. It is in fact still a re raise. All right. This one's a fold. This one's a fold as well. Really bad hand. This is going to be a fold. It's going to be a raise of value, 100% of the time. Uh, this one is actually fairly close, but I think it will raise. What if you have a smaller rundown? What if you have the 7, 6, 5, 4? I don't think that will be raising. Oh, that is still raising. I think the cutoff for this is the 6, 5, 4, 3, which only calls and does not uh, raise. Obviously, uh, one uh, inference you can take uh, from this is, uh, oh, something that we can infer from this is when the 4, 5, 6, 7 is a 3 bed, then your 9, 8, 7, 6 will be 3 beds, your ace, king, queen, jack, double suited, will be 3 beds, and some even more, so will your king, queen, jack, in. Obviously, if uh, a hand that's on the cusp is a raise, then hands that are stronger than that will certainly be raises. Moving on, uh, this one's a fold. We'll take the point. Uh, this one's a fold again. We'll take the point. I'll call. It is, in fact, a deception uh, raise. Very similar to the ace uh, 765. 
right good to know uh, this one is a fold i believe yeah even double suited same story fold it is in fact a call because of the connectivity i oh, oh not still a call i thought the deuce was really hurting it this one's going to be a call wow guys uh, turns out uh, you know there's a lot to learn uh, I will call and not raise this and just as I say that it is a raise although to be fair it's right on the cusp it's now at 52% so we whiffed by not much this will be a call this will be a call oh, this will be a call double suited will be a raise yes this will be a fold Guys, we really want to make it into IITs. Uh, this is a fold, yes. Uh, I will call. I will fold. Certainly call. We'll be folding. Close, but uh, I will be not really sure getting such a great price. I think I'll fold. All right, moving on. Fold. Definitely a fold. Even for all of you uh, seven deuce uh, fans out there. Fold. So it's going to raise. It's a very connected pair of kings that are double suited. Moving on. This one's a fold. What if you have the queen jack 10 4? I believe that can be a call, single suited. And as you can see, uh, not single suited. I mean, some single suited hands are calling for sure. As you can see here, not all of them. But uh, double suited for sure. And I think the cutoff is where uh, the 10 and the 4 are suited. Because even jack high suits, I believe, are. Uh, well, let's check that out. Jack high suits are folding as well. Moving on, this one's a fold. The 10, 9, 8, I believe, is not strong enough, so I will fold. And again, you see, guys, having the Jack 10 is really important because the Jack 10, 9, uh, 3, or the Queen Jack, uh, Queen Jack 10, 3 was a call, but the 10, 9, 8, 3 is going to be a fold. Fold again. Fairly connected, I'll call. It's correct. Ace high suit, the fair bit of connectivity, triple suited, I'll call is in fact a fold. I'll call and it is in fact a fold again. What if you have uh, a 9 instead of the 8? Well, that's calling some. A 10 will certainly call all single suited hand and it does. Uh, moving on, this is a call. Oh, I was going to say call. I mean, that's what I clicked. But I did have some doubts about this being a raise because it's double suited and the queen and the jack are connected. Ah, uh, this one's going to be a call. Fairly close, actually, this hand. I'll... This one's tough. I'll fold. Very close though. Uh, this one's going to be a fold. Uh, I mean, I can call. It is in fact a fold. All right. Uh, this one's definitely a fold. Call. Double suited will be three betting. Yes. I think I took one extra point. Well, I'm not really sure. I'll take that for now. Uh, this one is a fold. Okay. For sure a fold. Fold. Very disconnected, I'll fold. Disconnected again, I'll fold. 
connected but the suits aren't that great but i'll call still a fold that's a fold that is a fold again hmm. this one is i believe a fold uh, because I think the bare pairs we were calling for set value, I think, ended with uh, the pair of queens. So we can move on. This one's a fold. I'll call. I won't raise this. And uh, wow, even this is a fold. That's uh, wow. So let's see what the solver says. Uh, let's see what the solver calls first. So the solver is calling the bad suits where the ace 10 are connected and uh, the five deuce are connected. I believe it's for the straight flush draws. Although here, I think what the solver does is it wants two of the suits to be connected. So when the five deuce is connected, uh, it makes a sense and the solver calls with the ace 10 being connected. But uh, when the ace deuce is connected, the 10 5 stays disconnected, which is why the solver fold, uh, folds those. But in my humble opinion, you can simplify this to mean that this is always a call. So, I mean, we'll give one point to the solver, but uh, I mean, technically, we should have gotten that point. So, it's a fold. So, it's calling. This one's calling again. And we've made it into our 80s and we will end with uh, 82. So guys, uh, before we end, let's just discuss uh, the range graph a little. Uh, you see we're uh, calling only 25% only raising about 7 and folding a lot many hands even though we're getting uh, a great price. So let's see what the odds are. In order to win... Uh, 7 plus 7, 14, plus 1, 15, plus 2, 16. We have to put in uh, 5. So we are getting over 3 to 1. But we can't really call this because uh, let's say we decide to call uh, the very hand we have. And we flop uh, a flush draw with uh, clubs. And uh, the button now decides to uh, stab. Now with uh, a middling pair, we won't really flop a lot of strong top pairs here. With a middling pair, with a middling flush draw, we will be in uh, no man's land uh, uh, a lot of, of time. And that's uh, something we should avoid as poker players. Because I, I believe, and I've said this before, that the best players aren't those who... Uh, who get through the, the very difficult spots, they are in fact uh, those who don't get into tough spots uh, from the beginning. So with uh, that being said, uh, a quick recap, we call only 25%, we raise about 7 and uh, you know, we scored about uh, oh, actually exactly 82 out of 100. So guys, uh, this score hasn't been great, but I believe uh, this was a tough uh, quiz. So I am actually going to pat myself on the back and say that this score is fairly decent. We didn't quite get into our 90s, but you know, that's all right. And there were so many spots where the actual decision was uh, so close. Actually, guys, uh, until next time, this is Dhruv for Mission Possible Poker. Ciao.